There appear to be three general outcomes that we're looking at. Outcome number one is the really happy case, which is like AI models replace jobs and replace a lot of our work today. But in doing so, they produce value for everybody. And by producing value for everybody, they remove the need for human beings to have to work to survive. For the first time ever, human beings can move to a world paradigm where we are post-scarcity, where there's no constant race to be alive. You can just be alive. And then what you choose to do afterwards is up to you. Option number two, is the kind of dystopia, but we're all alive vision. We do achieve that outcome where LLMs can replace all human work, but those LLMs are owned by a small group of companies and we basically enter into feudalism. This is basically like Japan before like everything opened up where there's just a bunch of sects that are made up of companies that have LLMs that are all powerful that control like large parts of the world. And like, obviously governments are involved, but governments are tightly coupled. They would be involved very, very closely with these and like they would probably nationalize them. As an individual, not everybody has access to the same AI resource Resources, and there's probably just a very, very strong divide between the people that do and the people that don't. Uh, and then there's outcome number three, which is we create misaligned intelligence, misaligned AGI, misaligned potentially super intelligence. And that misaligned super intelligence for one reason or another just kills all of us. And uh, right now, when you talk to like, you know, <laughs> Sam Altman and you talk to Elon Musk and a bunch of other people, they say they're P-Doom, which is basically the, the risk of misaligned super intelligence or, or some other kind of like negative consequence along the way killing all humanity is usually about 20%.